So there's a couple of articles that we're just going to quickly very highlight. Uh, this is happening in Israel, right? Israel gets its first shipment of this right here. And this was the pill that we had been talking about on a couple of videos. But the real discussion, or well, the very quick discussion, this video is not going to be long. And the reason why you're seeing all of these closures, I know they talk about, you know, it's the new the new thing that's going on, you know, overseas, the new scariant. But this is right here. This is what's going on in Europe. And so the reason that you're seeing the lockdowns and, the, you know, the potential closures is because of this right here. It has nothing to do with a disease. It has everything to do with the West uh, basically collapsing in on itself because of their own choices. And it's the same thing. So I'm going to link all these articles below for those who are interested. Europe missteps uh, stokes gas prices as Russia uh, says Russia as fuel flows east. And so you can even look up, for example, LNG ships redirect to Europe. And these are American ships that were, uh, you know, headed to China that have been redirecting over in, into Europe. And it's primarily because of the energy crisis. There was actually a little I think it's in this article right here where they even talk about because of lower winds in uh, in Europe uh, for those people who are like, we know we need to save the earth. We need more windmills. And unfortunately, let me see. I think it's in this article. Let me just look, see if I can look it up real quick. There we go. It says Europe's electricity grids are already struggling with low wind speeds, meaning that wind turbines aren't able to produce as much any as much energy. So for these idiots that were going this route, they were like, you know, oil bad, natural gas bad. It's all dirty. Reduce your carbon footprint. You know, bring more windmills, solar solar panels. It didn't work out for Europe, and so now Europe, believing the communists uh, who are pushing, you know. You know, because uh, of the change in the climate. So we need to save Mother Earth and we need to go away from all these other sources of energy. This is the outcome very quickly. This happened very quickly. This wasn't something that took, you know, years for them to figure out literally just one season. And so now they're going into an energy crisis where they are literally rationing gas and oil. And so that's why you're seeing the closures. You, you look, they're like, oh, one person died. They're like, lock it all down. And they're like, it's 80% less, it's 80% less, you know, it's milder. Why are we doing this? It has nothing to do with that. It has everything to do with this. Because when you lock everything down, obviously it reduces, right? You have less movement. You've got less people traveling. You've got less trucks on the road, less people going out to eat. So it dramatically drops the uh, need for oil. And since they're already having an energy crisis and then in America is basically he's sending them ships. There was another article here you can look up from LNG tankers uh, diverting mid voyage. Right. This was this one mid voyage where prices keep setting records. And this is why Europe is closing. It has nothing to do with what they see on the news. And that's like I always say, when in doubt, follow the money anyway. I'm going to leave it here. I'm going to get back to trading, watching the market. I got some laundry to fold. Hope everything is going well with you. Thanks for watching. Feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll check you next time.